Hey everyone, my name is Nathan and I'm the owner here at Minnesota Mobile Guy. If you're not already familiar with us, we're a business based here in the U.S. state of Minnesota, but we assist clients from all over the world with all sorts of different issues and services on their smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices. One of the services that our customers most frequently ask us to perform is the removal of the Google Account Lock security feature on an Android device. It's something that Google introduced back in Android 5 to where when a device is factory reset without first removing the Google account that's on it, the device will then ask for that account again as a security measure after the reset has been completed. Now, here with us today, we have a little bit of a unique device. This is a Samsung tablet made for Verizon, but they call it a gizmo tablet. Uh, it's basically one that is geared towards kids that has a lot of different uh, child-orientated software and apps on it. But underneath, it's still Android. It's so just like every other Samsung Galaxy tab. And so this also does have the Google account lock feature in the software. And this specific device does have that enabled. So as we're going through the setup process here, we come to a screen that tells us that the device was reset. And to continue, we have to sign in with the same account that was previously on the device. And that's basically what the Google lock consists of. Now we're making this video to let all of our customers know that we do offer a service to be able to remove that lock on this specific model. It's something that we do directly to the device while it is plugged into a computer. So it can be done for just about anyone anywhere in the world, as long as you have a good Windows computer and a fast internet connection. Now before making the video, we had already done 99% of the work. So all we have to do now is to restart the device. And then after that, we should be able to see that we can then get all the way through the setup process process without seeing that lock. So I know you might have kind of seen at the beginning where it said gizmo tablet across the screen. And once we get into the settings, we'll show you a little bit more about the information just to show you exactly what we're working with. And then of course, the Verizon logo indicating that it is a Verizon device. And we should be up to the start screen in just a second here. There we go. So it says hi there, and it wants us to run through all of the setup process. So let me go ahead and start doing that. And tap to start, agree to terms and conditions. We can skip the Wi-Fi because we don't need that. Skip. And then it's going to pull up and take us through the rest of it here with the name. And we're just going to skip all of these in order to get through the setup as fast as we can. Skip the screen lock because we don't need one. And skip all the Google services. And almost there. Okay. So now it's really starting up. And then, of course, we see the Gizmo tablet uh, logo there again. And now we're going to go ahead and dismiss that. Okay, and then basically this gives you instructions about how to walk through the setup for getting it set up with a parent account. Because again, this is kind of geared towards kids here. We're just gonna go ahead and exit that setup for now though, because we don't really need it. And yes, we were sure that we wanna exit. Okay, and there we are. So we have the home screen here loaded up and we have access to all the apps and features and the Google account has been completely disabled. Now there's no funny business here, obviously as you saw right in the device, all we did is a restart to it. We didn't try to trick you and sign in with our own account or anything like that. So this is definitely something that we can actually do. Um, and then just to show you real quick what we're working with here, if we jump into the about tablet settings, we can see here that we are indeed working with a gizmo tablet. And then the model number there, the T387VK. So that is the unique model number of this device for Verizon. So if you happen to have one of these Gizmo tablets and would like to get help getting the Google account lock removed, we would love to help you out with that. So go ahead and get in touch with us. All of our contact info will be right down in the video description. And I'll also put a slide at the end of the video here that has all the info there as well. Make sure to check out all the other videos that we have on our channel while you're here, as we offer a lot of different services for a lot of different devices. And I'm sure you'll find some there that could come in handy someday. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button while you're there to be notified of all the new videos and services that we're constantly adding, just like this one. Y para todos los hispanos hablantes, nosotros también hablamos español, así que ustedes nos pueden contactar sin duda. Thanks for watching, everyone, and have a great day.